just for your health this evening, you know, most of us know to stay home when we're sick, but only so you can get better. But to keep from spreading the illness to coworkers as well, but not everyone that we work with practices that general rule. KXY Force Casey Lund working for you with what to do if you absolutely, without question, have to go to work. <coughs> Well, it was never really a good time to get sick. I actually just got over the flu in December, and now I've got this cough thing that I just can't get rid of. And, and I don't want to say that people are treating me different at work, but I do know that this isn't where I usually sit in the newsroom. People are beginning to avoid me here, and I want to be considerate, so I started looking for advice. I went down to the Spokane Regional Health District offices and met with Kim Papich. So Kim, what can somebody in my position do to help protect my coworkers? So you're concerned about coworkers, but you're not concerned about getting me sick. I hadn't thought of that, but clearly she was already offended. So I asked some different questions, like when should you return to work? Most of us have a finite number of sick days. So ideally we need people to be fever free for 24 hours before they go back to work. Avoid close contact with coworkers. Confine yourself to a cubicle or other space away from people in your office. Wash your hands as frequently as you can, especially after using the restroom. Hot water for at least 20 seconds. And? Covering their coughs uh, with your sleeve. Uh, another great time to wash your hands is if you have to blow your nose or if you cough or sneeze. If soap and water isn't available, make sure to keep alcohol-based hand sanitizer around. Another way to be considerate, sanitize the things that you use that other people share. Papich says contagiousness is really a five to seven day window after your first ill. Hopefully you've seen your health care provider. Hopefully you're doing whatever you need to do to, to treat that bacterial infection. But certainly after five days, you're probably not as contagious as you were when you were first experiencing symptoms, especially if you had a fever. Above all else, practice common sense. Stay home if you can, but if you have to go to work, do everything in your power to keep your germs to yourself. Reporting in Spokane, Casey Lund, KXOY 4 News. We're going to make sure that Casey is practicing all those recommendations, too. We'll be right back.